Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics with me, Get Daved, War of the Lions. Uh, I made one mistake, which is when I was giving examples of the class system. I said level 3 white mage, I thought it led to uh, the orc, or the mediator, and it actually leads to mystic, the class formerly known as the oracle. If you level up a mystic, you'll get the mediator, or whatever they're calling it these days. Whatever you kids call it. It's probably a path I want to take in a little bit, because a mediator has an ability that can increase faith. Faith will increase magic attack, and on Eurydice I'm going to want her to have high faith. One important catch. I have often said that having high brave is basically only good. The only time you want low brave is when you pick up a random item, and we've seen that where, or maybe we haven't, but anyway, sometimes you walk on a random tile, and if you have this one chemist ability, um, I can actually show it to you while she's in the white mage class. I don't know what I was thinking. This one chemist ability called, it used to be move find item, now it's treasure hunter. So if there's an item on the tile you step on, you'll pick it up. Some tiles have both good and bad treasures, and your odds of finding a good treasure are 100 minus your brave divided by 100. Or to think of it this way, however brave you aren't, that's your percentage chance of finding a good thing. So Eurydice would have a 30% chance of getting a good treasure and a 70% chance of getting a bad treasure. So for that reason alone, you would want to have low brave on one person who's your treasure hunter. If your bravery gets too low, if it goes below 10 in a battle, they literally turn into a chicken, like a, like a cock. they'll turn into one, and their bravery goes up by one every turn until it reaches 10, and then they transform back into a human again. Um, if, it's, if its base value goes below a certain amount, like, if we were to raise her bravery in battle, it would go up temporarily in that battle, but some of that would linger, a quarter of the change would linger and be permanent increase. If your permanent brave goes below uh, a certain amount, they will leave your army because of cowardice. If your faith, and this is all going back to faith, if your faith on any character but Ramza gets too high, they will leave your army to become like a zealot or a, a priest or whatever, right? They'll, their convictions will be too strong to keep up with the killing. So, or they'll want to do more. I mean, it really depends. Depends which type of religious they end up becoming. I'm not trying to get, you know, too saucy or any way, but uh, uh, there's the cool kind and the not so cool kind. Anyway, so you don't want a character's faith to get too high, except for Ramza. So if you really want to optimize, Ramza is your best potential spellcaster in the game. Uh, and everyone else, you kind of want to keep their faith at 80 and no higher, I would say. I think 85 is where you start getting the warnings. And, yeah. No Blues Brothers for us. No one goes on a mission from God. And let's go to Fort Zekton. It's a happy place. We have to divide our forces. If I had done just a little bit of grinding, I could have gotten a really good healing move on Get Daved. But I do not have that. Like a really good healing move. Um... I think this is how we're gonna split it. And we might, like, this might be a real challenge just based on the level we have not quite being enough, but uh, who knows. This is uh, one of my favorite parts of the game. It it's awful, and you'll see what I mean. Fire magic. Of 
quite the verbal standoff there. Join them, Delita. hostage anymore. a lot of us indeed are playing on both your houses. You know what he always wanted. bad things happen in this game. And yeah, you know he's going for Delita. Enjoy the fantastic music, by the way. Quite frankly, I think we're overmatched against them in basically every way. We'll have to be clever. We have generally bad faith, but that means their magic won't work on us as well. that. Yep. In a way, your closeness is what killed her. Alright. I need to check a couple things. The most important thing is they all have speed 6, which means we can potentially compete with them. If they had speed 7, we'd be in a bit of a tough spot. Level 10 knight and he's got 8 strength. Ramza levels up, which he probably will shortly. might get a strength up, which would be really helpful. Nope. Okay, now this is where the real... <laughs> fight's going to be decided, actually. Um, if we can just bypass this knight. The problem is we have to take him on from the front, which is absolutely what he's designed to handle. Two, 
three. If I could do it all again. Well, you know what? This is actually a decent chance at some good damage. I would have hung back for a turn and focused a strength, which is effective, but even more so on a monk. Just because of the way uh, their attack power works, it relies doubly on their physical attack stat. So bumping it up, measly 14 damage. Because it's snowing, I believe fire is slightly weakened. That was not bad. Not what I hoped for. white mage with him, so we can hang in there a bit longer with Ramza. Argith is using a crossbow, not a bow and arrow, which means he has a free hand to hold a shield. That's bad news. It means we basically have to get behind him. prioritizing correctly at least. Oh, your poor ideals. Argus just made a really big mistake. Okay, get David's gonna get a chance to act. That won't matter. is going to get nuked. We'll heal him right away. Alright. So far, so good. By standing still, I should... Oh, I won't quite supersede him in the turn order. How? Oh, it's because he didn't wait the first time. Okay. if we can scare him off. Hopefully it works. So Delita has that uh, mantle on, which gives him 10% magic evade, which isn't much, but it bought him one. One dodge there. Come on. He 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> and to do those things... Alright, because you have that role, you must do the wrong thing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, good. All right, the big choice. I don't think right now we have enough to overwhelm Argus. So I have to go after the, the little ones first. Oh, come on. That is very disappointing. Eh, he had a good run. Okay, we're in a bit of a bad spot here. Argus and both of their white mages. Or both of their black mages, pardon me. Can't have get Dave out or er, Rams out there by himself for that long though. As sissy a choice as this seems, I'm gonna wait so her turn prompt comes up sooner. Okay, I should have this guy. In the back. Zap Argus to get him. Good, and that's got a 100% chance of succeeding. Delita is a guest, so he has no countdown timer above his head to lead to his death. That's unfortunate, but we have to take it. I'm hoping we can get the healer over to him in time. Caliber steals the kill. Let's think this through carefully. One, two, three, four, five. I think that'll be enough. Is 
This is all I can really do for healing, so... take a few more hits. There's a difference of height of two, which means we can still hit them from the side this way. And that black mage should be in immense amounts of trouble now. That's unfortunate. So the nasty combo of rent equipment and a long-range weapon is uh, truly frustrating. <laughs> I don't think this shot is going to be possible, even with a lob. Yeah, that's too bad. One more tile would have made it work. And now we're in trouble. Oh, right! Never mind, I take that entirely back. at this. Now what I don't like is that she's basically trapped up there. Turn list. Spencer's the other knight. By Caliber, I'm gonna trust him to take out Amiria. So then it's just decision time. Do we take the 56% chance? Oh my goodness, and he's got auto potion. That actually greatly simplifies our decision making. He's a pretty formidable boss. Yes. Okay. We'll need one more of those to really... Please. Yes. That makes up for some really bad luck on that last mission. Just barely. One, two, three. Interesting. I have virtually no hit points, though. So I'm debating between using Aura Blast to hit this guy in the back, which I would have to move to do, and using Aura Blast to kill this mage. I think this is the inferior choice because it's going to expose him to Argeth, who has a long ranged weapon. And even though his strength is reduced, um, we just don't have the firepower. Five damage, 75%. I have to try. Maybe we scared him off? Okay. 
Sorry if she doesn't need her vision. I like how the priest is turning into the tank for the group. Also, I did forget the one part where Y Caliber was supposed to take him out. It's okay, we can work with this. Yeah, his weapon is conveniently very weak. So I'm okay with uh, leaving him around for a bit. All of his power was coming from his physical strength stat, so... Her move is going to be basically... Oh. Yeah, she can jump down. That's actually fantastic news. No healing, though. Any change of plans? Yep, potion on herself. We're gonna turn to face Algus and hopefully bait the one knight into not killing Get Daved. I don't expect that to work though. Yep. Yeah, that one was uh, set in stone long ago. Three misses! He's missed three times! Pull it together, Y Caliber. opportunity to pump up our stats, but I think I'm going to put it on the Priest, because we're going to need her to get into item range, I think, is how this is going to go down, because apparently I cannot buy a landed hit. I can even check that that's in range. Yeah, it's not. That's all right. I have a second thing I also want to do, and that's cast Heal on Ramza, regardless of whether or not it hits Algith, as, or Argith as well. That's okay, he's got Auto Potion, we're gonna need to scheme a strategy entirely around taking him out. I didn't check this before, I probably should have. Oh my goodness, and it just would have worked. Priority one. Well, at least no one died because of it. draw the two of them over this way. Gonna need the focus. By the way, this battle can go much faster. Did you pick up a crystal? Doesn't matter much. It's actually kind of important for us to get our white mage to one of those crystals sooner or later. Nope. We have to try the raise. 
Uh, she will be able, as long as she lives, she'll be able to get into item using range. Nope. Nope. The altitude is impeding the distance that the arrow can shoot. Okay. Hitting that twice makes up for three misses with 75% accuracy from Y Caliber. Just barely, but it does. Knights have three move. He doesn't have any accessories to give him more range. He could cut off the crystal on his turn, though. So I think I am going to go for it. That's fine. What matters is that I ruined this for him. I'll take Fyra. Maybe I should have restored HP, but... Time to start beefing up that stat. This is to cut him off from the knight's body if he dies. Honestly... Actually, we should probably try healing. With the last of our MP. Get more HP on uh, Get Daved, because he needs it. We have really great success rate on our counterattacks, going almost exclusively. I think we have a Zodiac compatibility there, uh, exclusively to our characters having really good Brave values. That one doesn't really matter. That one does matter quite a bit. I really hope the arrow doesn't go through Ramza. Like, he should be smart enough to lob it. Yeah. If it were a crossbow, I would have hit my own person indirectly. You're nothing more than experience points to me. Oh man, enough JP to learn Chakra. Finish him. Okay. Now the battle is ours. Hemp and robe. So we can gain five damage against his total if auto potion doesn't trigger. Hey! Or 35. Now I feel like I shouldn't try hitting him here. She's low on HP. Low enough to count, anyway. How long is it going to take for that guy to crystallize? Okay, things that would be beneficial would be dragging Argeth's, uh... Strength down further. We don't have that opportunity, but we would basically be invincible if we could hit him one more time. I think he would be doing about six damage per attack, optimistically.
You're done. All the MP, Mac. And if we were on a higher level, we could have used a much more aggressive strategy. Uh, use it on that tile, actually. Uh, much more aggressive strategy, and that would have, you know, helped with lots of things. But we're okay now. Also, I've been pumping up everybody's uh, strength so that we can just debilitate him with one hit now. Remember when I said pumping up strength on a monk has like an exponential benefit? So, yeah, 105 damage with one attack now. I only bumped strength up like two or three notches. See you later, Argus. Often the conversation of who's the best villain in Final Fantasy comes up and everyone's like, Sephiroth! No, Kefka. I think we can all agree it's Kefka. For me, it's Aragath. Because it is 100% personal. Now we can admire his handiwork. What was that? The powder. Delita, we must away. my life the only way that I had known. But when the pillars of that life came crashing down, I did not stand and watch them fall. I turned and walked away. 